Hello, thanks for watching. Today I will show you a peacock inspired cut crease. My mother requested it so I wanted to give it a go. If you like how this look came out then keep on watching. The first shade that I used is Noir from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's a simple matte black shade and I used this shade to create my crease line. I used an Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeliner brush in the number 3. So I skipped this part in this video because I show it in all my cut crease videos. And now you can see that I base the shape of my cut crease on how my eye looks when I open it. So I'm just following my crease line. Now I'm using an eyeshadow from Makeup Geek Cosmetics. This one is called White Lies. It's a matte white shade and I'm going to apply this right underneath the highest point of my brow bone using a MAC 242 brush. Now I'm using another shade from Makeup Geek Cosmetics called Peach Smoothie. This shade is very familiar with the orange soda eyeshadow from Anastasia Beverly Hills, which I'm using in almost all my videos. This one is a bit more affordable. So if you're searching for an alternative, you can get this eyeshadow. I'm blending this right above the crease line that I created using a Sigma E40 brush. Now, because I'm going for a blue cut crease, I need a light blue shade. I'm not having this in any single eyeshadow, so I needed to use the Morphe 35B eye palette. And I'm using my Sigma E45 brush. So I'm softly blending this right above the crease line and just make sure that you don't have harsh lines. So keep on blending just until you reach the moment where it looks very soft. So I have a discount code for all Sigma brushes. I have linked it down in the description bar. So if you're curious, it will give you 10% discount on all their brushes and makeup. Now I'm going back in with the Makeup Geek Beach Moody eyeshadow, just to make sure that everything's well blended out with the blue eyeshadow. Now I'm going in with the Neptune eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. This is a very vibrant blue matte shade. And I'm using my Sigma E21 and I'm just going over the crease line. Now I'm going back in with the light blue shade from the Morphe 35B eye palette. I'm using my MAC 219 brush and I'm going over the Neptune shade and a little bit above it to create a sort of gradient effect with these two shades. Now I'm going back in with the Makeup Geek Cosmetics Neptune shade and I will blend this out using a Morphe M506 brush and I'm just going over both of the shades. I found the uh, darker blue shade a bit more uh, too obvious at this moment so to blend that out you need to use the same shade but blend it out more. I hope that makes sense, it's so hard to explain. Now 
Now I'm using a bit more of the Neptune shade on a different brush and this is the Sigma E21 brush. I still found the line a bit too hard so I will apply the Neptune shade a little bit above the line that I created before to make it less obvious. Now to carve out my crease line I'm going to use the Essence White Eye Pencil. So I will apply this right underneath the line, this will make it look very sharp. And I will also apply this on my whole eyelids to use as a base for my next eyeshadows. The first shade that I will apply on my eyelid is called The Sun from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm using a Morphe M210 brush. So I'm lightly pressing this on my eyelid. The next shade is called Fuji from Makeup Geek Cosmetics. This is a very fresh green apple shade with a slight sparkle. I'm using my MAC 242 brush to apply this next to the other shade. Now I'm going in with the Makeup Geek Cosmetics Dragonfly Eyeshadow and again I'm using my MAC 242 brush. This is one of my favorite brushes for applying shades on my eyelids and it's no problem to use this brush when you already used it for another shade on your eyelid. Because you have a mixture of all the shades on your brush it will make sure that everything will blend out even more. Now I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Wine Eyeshadow and I will apply this right next to the other shades. Now I'm using the Makeup Geek eyeshadow in the shade Poolside. Same story as before, just using my MAC 242 brush and um, this will be at the outer part of my crease. I still had a little bit space left so I'm going back in with the poolside eyeshadow and I'm using a brush from the brand Makeup Addiction Cosmetics. Now for my eyeliner I'm using as always the Sigma Beauty Wicked Gel Eyeliner. If you want to see the whole process how I apply my eyeliner I will put the link down in the description bar. I have a separate video on it. Now for in my waterline I'm going back in with the Essence White Eye Pencil. This is the same eye pencil that I used on my eyelid. Now I'm going to use the Burnt Orange Eyeshadow from Anastasia Beverly Hills right underneath the lower lash line. And for this I'm using the Sigma E57 brush. Now I'm going back in with the Noir Eyeshadow from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm using the my E21 brush to connect the eyeliner corner with my lower lash line. And now I'm using some certified glitters. I mix these three together using some MAC Mixing Medium Gel. 
and I'm using a lip brush from Zygma to tap this right underneath the lower lash line. And this is the finished result. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. On Monday there will be another drugstore makeup tutorial. So make sure you will check it out. And so hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.